more. Here are 20 fun facts about Fela. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Butterfly. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, let's talk here. This is bullying. This is bullying. <laughs> Look, man, you're not gonna win, so don't shrimp paste your time. <laughs> Seagulls, what's up? Phil would say he's a very simple guy. Whenever you say something or you have a conversation, he's always like, I'm actually a very simple guy. He's not. That's a fact. But I think that's what makes him so interesting. He has very complex thoughts. He has very uh, intricate thoughts. In many ways, Phil is like a dad. He hates waiting. When he's done shopping or he's done somewhere, he's like, are you guys ready? Let's go, let's go. He's always finding ways of making things efficient when he doesn't even need to do that. He'll be like, that guy picked up that bag in the most inefficient way. I think as a leader, that's a great skill to have because he's always trying to find ways to be efficient for at Wang Fu. Phil's a backseat driver and he'll admit it. He really likes to tell people which direction they should be going and when they should be merging and when they've done something incorrect on the road. I've seen him do it with me. I've seen him do it with Kristen. You know, at this point, we're just used to it. But it's also because he takes a lot of pride in um, his knowledge of the road and routes. It's almost like he should have his own app called Phil Maps. It's pretty much him just yelling at you. About eight out of 10 times when you look at him during a work day, he has his face in the neckline of his shirt. So he basically is slouched over in his chair and he's just doing this and he just like types. And I've asked him why he does that and he likes to think that it keeps him warm. He wants you to acknowledge all his puns and jokes. So he'll look around to be validated and you like nearly I'll try to laugh, but sometimes he'll be like, oh, why, why don't you laugh at me? Cause, okay, even though I hide it, he is funny, okay? You are funny. <laughs> So me and Phil have a very similar sense of humor and a similar approach to our jokes, but there have been several times to where I look at Phil and I know we're thinking of the same joke, but when I play it out in my mind, I, I see a failure, but then when he goes, he just goes for it. And there have been multiple times where I just have to shake my head and it makes me feel glad that I didn't go all the way and fail at the joke. So Phil sleeps in the office uh, overnight from time to time. And I've come into the office around like two or three times, around like seven in the morning, and uh, I noticed that uh, he's not naked. Uh, he hugs one of the pillows over there, and uh, you know, he looks, yeah. Phil has a strange dichotomy. Like he wants a lot of people to know a lot of, about him. He likes to share a lot, but then also at the same time, he's very private. Like he, he wants you to think that you don't know him. So it's like, as soon as you can claim 20 fun facts about him, he'll be like, you don't know me. And it's like, well, I think I do. <laughs> it takes him a very long time to update his phone operating system, his computer operating system. I think it's because he's scared that with every new update, it'll come with new problems. He's very comfortable with the current software that he's using. Um, but because of that, everything looks dated. So his Mac in the office is still running on Snow Leopard, which is I'm pretty sure from 2008, maybe 2009 or 10, but it's still really old. <laughs> like, I mean, like, we're already on national parks, bro. We're off cats. So fun fact about Phil, he has two toe thumbs. I have one, but toe thumbs are basically, I think the medical term is club thumbs. And it's when your thumbs look like toes, but you know, Megan Fox has two. So I mean, how bad can that be? Phil steals food. <laughs> like, this is while you're eating the food. He'll just boop, boop, these are chopsticks. <laughs> I mean, I kind of got used to it and I just let him do it. It's like, you know, try new food, take it. And usually it's food I just opened and I didn't get to eat it yet, but I'll just be nice and give it to him. You deserve it. <laughs> Phil always leaves his wallet and his keys just lying around, like in the office and even on set, which is crazy because things are constantly moving, we're always moving things around, and one of these days I'm just gonna like grab his wallet and his keys and just not say anything, and hope he figures it out. So you may or you may not know this, but uh, he really, really dislikes raw fish. So he, he doesn't eat sashimi or poke, you know, like sometimes when we have a lunch break and we wanna get poke and then he brings in his own lunch. And yeah, it's, it's kind of unfortunate because, uh, you know, sashimi is pretty good, um, raw fish is pretty good. He says apparently it's because it has this uh, sea taste, whatever that is. 
Uh, I know that there's kind of this running joke about Phil being affiliated with Sadness from Inside Out. And you can often find him around the office just kind of sighing and hemming and hawing. But I think that's because in his mind, he tends to like internalize a lot of his thoughts, his concerns about everyone else, not himself. So he's constantly, you know, worried and thinking about, you know, the team here. Are we being challenged professionally? Are we growing? Are we happy? Do we enjoy what we're doing? As like for you guys too, he worries about what kind of content you guys want to see. Phil is a very, very selfless guy. Phil thinks he's the dad of the office, especially towards me for some reason. But. I really think he's like the big brother in the office. Not like scary big brother, but like nice big brother where you can look up to and like ask for advice, like have fun with. I guess he thinks he's a dad. He's like, yeah, rules, work. But I don't think he's really that like that at all. He's more like more chill, laid back, cool. You're hip. Phil is also really generous. Um, he's always looking out for the team and every time we have a, a tough day or uh, a long day, he always treats us to dinner. And he's also a great listener. I didn't talk much at first uh, when I first started here, but I always knew he would be there to listen. So even when we were the only two at the office and I wasn't saying anything, I, I know he was listening to my thoughts. Phil is very passionate about the Asian American community. He's very proud of how far they've come and he's a big advocate for the movement that is going on and a big supporter of everyone coming up in the community. So, and that translates to everything he does at Wong Fu, and it translates to everything he does for other people. It's very selfless, and it's very motivating to be working for someone that has such drive and passion for something so much bigger than himself and the company. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be following someone like that. I think Phil, as a, as a filmmaker, he wants to really express and kind of share uh, you know his fascination with uh, the concept of love and uh, you know he puts that in his writings and how love is very complex and like it's complicated and there's the struggles and the search that's one of those like human emotions that is very difficult to do and very difficult to communicate and I think that's kind of the main challenge that kind of got me to also want to, to be a part of this like your movement. If you guys don't know already, Phil eats, breathes, lives everything that is Wang Fu. I mean, he, he is Wang Fu Productions. If he's not talking about it, he's thinking about it. It's very common for us to get texts at like 5 a.m. in the morning where he's like, oh, I have this new idea for this, or do you think we should reach out and do this, or should we should write, have an idea for like, to write this sketch for that. And you know, everything that you see at Wang Fu has a little bit of Phil. Phil has been a brother to me since uh, we met. Um, it's crazy because I, I think I've seen him just as much, if not more often, than my own blood brother. Uh, and we know so much about each other, and I think uh, this, adventure of Wong Fu Productions couldn't have been possible without someone like Phil. He definitely uh, is a leader and he fills in the gaps. Bonus facts! Phil scares really easily. Uh, the last time I scared him really badly, he uh, just laughed. So it kind of went like, ah! <laughs> like that. Phil loves to comment about other guys' good skin especially younger people, like by a few years, he'll, he'll say, oh, such nice skin. I think it's a way to spotlight how much we've aged over the years. Phil still buys and uses CDs. His car has a six disc CD changer. So uh, if you ever ride shotgun, you have to wait like a couple minutes for him to get all his CDs off the front seat. So it's best he doesn't drive. Phil is very proud of his virgin hair. Uh, he recently streaked his tips, um, but he made it an exact, he made a very specific um, request not to go to the roots because he wanted to keep it virgin. Um, in the end, I think he just doesn't want to go bald. So Phil really loves chicken. And uh, yeah, and it's just like if the world were to end tomorrow, as long as there's chicken left, he can live. I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that he got breast. He adopts phrases like very quickly, like he'll hear someone say like a certain phrase or uh, idiomatic expression 
and then he'll use it as his own. It'll become part of his vocabulary and he'll make it known that like that's his thing. The, the phrase few and far between, that's one of the new, newer ones that he's kind of picked up on and you'll hear it a lot uh, in, in everyday conversation. Past expressions have been with a grain of salt. Consent culture. I think he's more big about the phrase than the actual meaning of it. Phil is probably the best procrastinator that I've ever met. So even though he procrastinates, his quality of work is amazing. So I feel like probably in school, he was that kid that waited to the last minute to write an essay, but he was always the one that got an A plus. And you're always like, what the heck? Phil's go-to R&B song, I would put money on this actually, is For You I Will by Monica. Uh, it's one of his karaoke songs also. He has a few, um, but that one is, is definitely uh, a big one. And I, I relate to that because that's one of my favorites too. I just don't, I don't sing it with him. I'm extremely thankful for Phil and everything he's done uh, for the company and for um, a friend and all of us. He's done a lot and he's sacrificed a lot. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Hey everyone, hope you guys liked learning all those Secret facts about me guys. Not, people aren't supposed to know those things. They're all they're all pretty true. I, I can't They I spend so much time with them. They they're of course not gonna say anything. That's not true And I'm a little bit embarrassed, but you know, what? it's okay. It's fine. I'm, I'm proud of my uniqueness But let us know in the comments who you want to see next. There aren't that many of us left. So It's gonna be like only a few names really be sure to check out the fun facts of some of our other Wang Fu teammates and subscribe to more Wang Fu for all of our shows. See you guys later. Bye. About Fail up. <laughs> they better be fun, since you said fun. This is a great montage. I would say he's a very simple guy. Whenever you say something or you have a conversation, he's always like, I'm a simple I'm man. He's a very simple guy. <laughs> he's not. I'd be like, that guy picked up that bag in the most inefficient way. I think as a leader, that's a great skill to have because he's always trying to- Called Phil Maps. It's been pretty much him just yelling at you. About, and he just like types. It keeps me warm. I why he does that, and he likes to think that it keeps him warm. <laughs> he is funny, okay? You are funny. <laughs> me and Phil Usually it's food I just opened. I didn't get to eat it yet. No. I will just be nice and give it to him. I, he it's, deserves it. I would give it to you too, Jen, if you wanted it. Procrastinator that I've ever met. So even though he procrastinates, his quality of work is amazing. So I feel like I, I see a failure, but then when he goes, <laughs> he just goes for it. I've been multiple times for it. Just... You gotta go with me, man. <laughs>